Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to The Bell Fox. Hi again. So after last week's cliffhanger of sorts, we're going to answer some of the questions you sent in with the help of Adam. Hello. <laughs> so Adam's going to be reading the questions and I'm going to read in for Bell. I thought I was doing Bell. No, no, no. I've never said that. Oh, you read the email last time? This is my vlog. <laughs> okay, 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 fine, fine, Sweet. fine. Because it doesn't matter anyway which way around it goes. What are you doing? <laughs> what is with the wig? So people know who's being Bill. Oh, right, okay, fine. Um, yeah, so I emailed Belle your questions and she's sent us some responses. So uh, I'll just find question one. There we go. Uh, was being an escort your choice? Well, you've already heard the first time I was paid to have sex. A few months of not hearing back from jobs, excruciatingly bored and close to broke, I signed up with an agency. Mm -hmm. um, signed up with an agency. I suppose, uh, I, suppose it, I suppose it was my choice. I could have put more time and effort into job applications, but I didn't really want any of those jobs. Mm -hmm couldn't see how sitting at an office desk would be better than sitting at home, especially since graduate jobs have such awful starting salaries. Yeah, I do. Um, right, how do you find out about and keep safe from STIs? All my clients have to wear protection. I always have normal and latex-free condoms with me for people with allergies. Mm. Very thoughtful, very Isn't thoughtful. It? And I get a checkup once a month. Words of wisdom from Bella. Mm -hmm. I've had chlamydia twice and it's easily treated, but it means I can't work while I'm on treatment. Interesting. Providing condoms isn't just to protect against STIs either. Clients will think less of you if you don't insist, even if they're the ones asking to fuck Burbank. The thinking is, if you let them get away with it, how many other people does it happen with? Clients don't want STIs either. They're pretty difficult to explain to spouses. Um. Would being an escort ever stop you from having a boyfriend, husband, or partner of your own? Okay, good question, good question. Mm. No, I have a boyfriend and he knows exactly what I do and he's okay with it. Nice. Don't know Under about that, understanding man. boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I think, I hope. There you go. Uh, it is difficult though to say how and when to tell him about it. I like this boy though, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, when will you stop being an escort? Soon? I don't know. Maybe not so soon. No one wants to do this forever, right? Maybe once I have a rich husband who can support me. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we all want that, Belle. We all want that. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, so how much do you actually make then? This is a really popular question. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to go into the rates. Those you can look up online easy enough. Suffice to say, I manage living in a small London flat and having enough to spare to keep me in lingerie and meals out every now and then. Mm -hmm well for some though really it's down to how much work you get and what jobs you do it varies from girl to girl and what agency you're with overnight calls are the most lucrative and the most relaxed mm, nice can we swap for a bit yeah yeah you want the yeah yeah, yeah. no I, I don't think Belle's gonna mind yeah. cheers Yeah. Yeah. That's you. Gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Can we read the questions? Yeah, go on. Uh, ooh, here's a good one. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the way your job is depicted in the media? Ah, this is a really good question. Um, here we go. I think like almost everything, the media is totally fucking off. Prostitutes in the media are sex slaves with pimps who have them hooked on crack. That happens, though I've never seen anything like that personally. It's not a crack den, not for the girls I know and the agencies I've seen. It's not particularly glamorous either, like anything. It mostly becomes mundane. You have business meals, work calls, you're just getting paid for sex rather than sitting at a desk. Then I go home at the end of the day and have a cup of tea and put my feet up in front of the TV. Sweet, another one. Uh, what do you think about um, what just about? Yeah, yeah, it's your thing, so. 
uh, I think oh, it's really difficult. I don't think that you can generalize. Girls like Belle seem to have it really sorted mm. and have the balance, but that's really difficult and I think lots of girls don't. Um, I don't think it's as bad as most people think. Like it's a job, so yeah, it's hard. Uh, what do you think? Um, it is diff- It is. I agree, it's difficult, but mm. I don't know. I just think if you have the choice to do something else, then you should. Yeah. You know I mean, but each to their own. I guess. So, yeah, I think it's wrong. I suppose so. Yeah. The point of this is conversation, so please let us know what you think and we'll go through some of your responses next week. And? And have good sex.